So Newcastle United win back-to-back games for the first time since December with a simply brilliant 4-0 win here over Tottenham Hotspur in the game where if you ask 50,000 people, 52,000 people even at St. James Park, they were accepted. Expecting that scoreline, I think the majority of all would have said no. It was a crazy, crazy game. Um, the first 20 minutes, to be fair, was very open. Both sides do like to attack. You know, Tottenham play a very good brand of football. The Aston United very aggressive, very front foot here at St. James Park. And it was a very, you know, very tight start. I wouldn't say tight, actually. It was quite open, sorry. But it was very even start. I think both teams were on the front foot without really testing the keeper. It was weird, you know, both teams had lots of promising attacks without really testing, but Newcastle United got the breakthrough through Alexander Izak. That was his um, sixth game in a row, the sixth goal in a row he scored at St. James's Park. Anthony Gordon does brilliantly to win the ball, feeds Izak. Izak makes no mistake, just takes it inside, puts Van der Ven on his backside and fires past Ricari and it's 1-0 at that point. And you think, right, can Newcastle, you know, we've seen them go 1-0 up many times here at St. James, but they've never really been able to hold on. But can you, can they do it? Can they hold on? And within two minutes, that was decided, you know, that was put to bed when Anthony Gordon then, then scored a second. Again, Newcastle might press high. Um, they win the ball back on the left. Gordon gets found in the middle. Gordon pretty much is similar move to Isaac. Takes it on his right. Van der again falls on his backside. And Gordon slams on past Vicario. And all of a sudden, it's 2-0 from, from 0-0 and being very tight and, you know, not really knowing where the where the game was going. First goal being very important. Newcastle found themselves two 0 up. It was brilliant, brilliant start, and one that we've seen a few times from Newcastle. That's when they're very, very best and Eddie Howe ruthless. Um, to not just get that one, but to get the second quickly and yeah, to be ruthless really and put. I wouldn't say the game beyond doubt because Tottenham have great quality, but they were really good and they give themselves a platform. It could have even been more before half time. A couple of good chances. Isaka um, had a header, a couple of headers from corners. So yeah, it was one of them where. Newcastle, you know, deserves going two 0 Felt there could have been more, and then when they get out after half time, you do worry that how what's Postecoglou being able to say to his team, you know, Eddie Howe is very little from the bench, and we all know how, you know, how tired some of their players are being. Had can can they react? Can they, you know, deliver another sort of full throttle second half performance? And they were able to do that. They scored, I think it was five five ten minutes. I don't really know. Um, I can't remember the adrenaline in my soul every, and every thought my thoughts are out of control but we'll we'll try and bear through but yeah um, Isaac scored it was a lovely ball over the top by Bruno um, Isaac took it down well ran at Vicario Vicario didn't know whether it come or go and Isaac said the pass it was a bit of a muted celebration it was weird I think a lot of people thought Isaac might be offside it looked very tight Tottenham obviously played that high line but it was shown that almost instantly as soon as Bruno kicked it Isaac was in his own half so of course offside doesn't matter and yeah, it was a brilliant finish from Isaac and something we've come to expect from him. And they had two goals from him. I think that's a 3 0 up, and that's really game. If they, they did brilliantly in after, uh, before the hour mark, a 3 0 up, and it was that was it. I think Eddie Howe and the team then sort of took the foot off the gas a little bit, uh, stopped pressing as high up, and they just sort of defended a little bit more, took the sting out of the game, really. They, that's what they needed to do. Tottenham had more of the ball and had a couple of chances. De Bravka made a couple of saves, but nothing that you would, wouldn't expect them to make. And yeah, I think you guys are really frustrated their visitors. Uh, Son Hyung Min was taken off a uh, 3 0. Uh, James Madison was taken off near the end of the game. Uh, so, all these big players, all these ones that headed into the game thought they could cause Newcastle problems, didn't really have anything, no chances, and they were taken off and didn't end on the field. And then Newcastle finished off in style. Fabian Cher got on the end of an Anthony Gordon corner. Now, Gordon was on set pieces and he put in some, some really good deliveries, to be fair. And this one he hung, hung up high at the back stick, and that Fabian Cher ran onto it. Bullets had a Back across the keeper into the far post. And yeah, to give Vicari no chance. Newcastle 4-0. And that was the story again. It was a brilliant performance, brilliant win for Newcastle. Where, especially coming into the game, uh, not knowing what how, what team it put out, what squad really, with Warriors and Lewis Hall, Joe Willock, um, with all the other injury problems. But it was good to see Newcastle really put any of them issues to bed and really give them a platform to build on for now. They've got now taken 10 points from the last four games. It's a brilliant return. The end of the day in six, actually. Start of the day in eighth, end of the day in six. Tottenham, start of the day in fourth, end of the day in fifth. So from having sort of four gap, four places between them, they now end up with just one um, at the end of the game. But yeah, fantastic performance from Eddie outside. One that you'd no doubt be delighted with and one that would be very interesting to see what he says after the game. And obviously I'm going to try and speak to some players here at the end of the game see what they say. But yeah, it was a fantastic day out for That's a fantastic for 52,000 sports, yeah. And another brilliant win over Tottenham Hotspur. So yeah, Newcastle 84, Tottenham Hotspur.